In this video I'm going to show you how to map a switch manually from the perspective of just now installing the software. What you have to do is first start the Manage Switch Port Mapping tool and as you'll see there's a default IP address. First you want to close the tip of the day. Then what I do is click in the IP address field, it automatically opens up the device specific settings for the switch, but you could also press the settings button. Select switch is reserved for later, after you've already mapped the switch once. So what I'm going to do is change the IP address to map, match, the switch that I have. Let me correct that. I'm going to change it to version 2C because what that allows you to do is use the bulk transfer right here which means up to 32 records per transfer. There's nothing we have to do down here or here. So we go ahead and click on OK and since we changed the IP address that was there we are adding a new IP address for a new device. So we're going to hit continue. Now we hit map switch. Now this message means we have ping sweep turned on over here, but we didn't define a range. So for the moment we can ignore it. But later we can go back and add a range. As you can see the information about the switch ports is starting to show up. You'll have descriptions, uh, the type of interface, those are lag interfaces, those are ethernet interfaces. You'll see the speed and their status, whether they're up or down and what VLAN they're on. You'll see MAC addresses, IP addresses to match those MAC addresses. And if there's a host name assigned to that IP address, it shows up here because we've selected this switch right here. Actually, checkbox, sorry. And then um, interface manufacturer based on the MAC address is shown up. You also see LLDP or CDP information. In this case, we see LLDP of two attached devices and in this case we know what port it is and what IP address it is um, but over here we don't actually get that information from the device actually the switch logs this information and we're just reporting what the switch sees right here you see quick info about the switch and if I drag this over you'll see a report and this report is in the web browser. It shows information about the switch, analysis of what it, how many interfaces are used, the used ports and the unused ports, actually opposite directions, and then information about the ARP information that we pulled from the switch, the local ARP table of this computer, and through ping sweep, but ping sweep was actually not active. So that's a summary of how you map a switch. One quick thing I want to add is the ping sweep range editor. In this case, I have this very small subnet. So I'm going to add the IP range right here and hit close. So the next time I map it, there won't be a warning about the ping sweep range not being available. So that is a summary of how to map a switch manually with the Manage Switch Port Mapping tool. You can go back later after you've mapped the switch and you change to another switch, you can go back and quickly pull it out this way. There may be 10 switches listed here, but you can just click on this and hit OK and it will restore it back into this left panel. For the moment I didn't cover the server router one or two, but those are additional ways to obtain ARP information from SNMP enabled devices.